I can't even remember like how to film. <laughs> Feels like it's been forever. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I first off want to apologize for not posting a video last week. I've been having some health issues with my skin and I couldn't wear makeup. I haven't worn makeup in like two weeks, so I thought what better video to come back with than my February favorites. So February, I really became a creature of habit. I wore like the same makeup look all the time. I've been doing like a lot of really natural makeup lately. Like I'm just really liking the simple makeup, even though it takes like an hour to, you know, look natural. First off is my favorite foundation of this month. I feel like you guys could probably already guess this, but it is the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation. I have been loving this so much. I have mine in the shade Pearl. And I wear this like literally every time I go to do my makeup, I'm wearing this because I feel like it looks so good on my skin. I feel like it makes my skin look healthy. It's not too like full coverage. It's really like probably medium buildable coverage. It's what I have on my face today. All of these products are on my face today, so I don't have to keep saying that. I just really love the shade match and I really love the finish. It just looks like skin. And even though my next product makes my skin look a little bit less like skin, um, this by itself really, really looks like skin. It looks beautiful and it's so good for dry skin. It does not cling to my dry patches, although right now my skin is extra, extra dry. I've got spots all over my face that are just like dry. But even with my skin being super dry like it is right now, this foundation barely clung to anything. And honestly, you can't see it. I mean, I don't look like I've got like a bunch of dry spots all over my face, so. The next product is another ELF product, and it is my concealer. It is the ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I will say, I have the shade, I have the shade Fair Beige, and I feel like this is a little too light for me, a little too pink toned, a little too white. It's a very light concealer, and I'm not a fan of the packaging, if you guys can see that. It is so messy, like every single time I open this and close it, I get concealer all over me, and that's like the one downside to this. I've been wearing this non-stop because the only concealer that stays on my nose. Everything else, every other foundation, every other concealer, everything else that I put on my nose breaks away right here. And I hate it. And it's just, it's, it sucks. <laughs> I can't ever get foundation or concealer to stay on top of my nose. I like, I start blending it and then it goes away and it goes patchy. This stays on my nose. It stays on my nose like all day long. And it's great because then my nose stays concealed and doesn't look patchy because when your nose looks patchy that's just not fun especially when you have a big nose like me you don't want it to look patchy it's very full coverage and like I said it doesn't make my skin look like skin you know it looks like I'm trying to hide things really but I still think it looks good once you blend it all out and I use very very little I mean it has that big doe foot applicator and I just put three dots I put two under my eye and one next to my nose because that's plenty my next favorite product is my bronzer. I have been using the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Golden Days so much. Okay, it's probably not, my package is a little bit broken. This is what the bronzer looks like. I know it doesn't look like much in the pan, but really on my face, I feel like it looks, there's a hair. But on my face, I really feel like it looks amazing. This is what it looks like on my hand. And you guys can see what it looks like on my skin. And especially right here on my forehead, if you look, there's like some shimmer. I love the way it looks on my forehead, like especially. I don't know why, but like if the bronzer doesn't look good on my forehead, I don't like it. Like, I don't really care about what it looks like on my cheeks or like down my nose. I care about what it looks like on my forehead because my forehead shows so much. My hairline comes back like really far right here. And I just, I need it to look good right in this area that shows all the time. Since it's baked, it just, I feel like all baked products just really like melt into your skin and don't look like powder. I don't know why, maybe that's the point. The next product is my highlight. If you guys can't tell, okay, I don't know how well I've applied it because I'm new to this kind of formula. But it's blinding and I love it and it looks amazing. It is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. I have one other ColourPop highlighter, but it's too dark for me. So that's why this is in this video, because I finally got Flexitarian, which is one of their lightest shades. And look at that. 
just like look at it it's just amazing it's so it's so buttery smooth like you don't even have to press down it's it's a very weird formula it is cream to powder and I've never had anything like that before in my life but look at that it's so blinding and amazing I just I cannot get enough of it oh it's so beautiful I definitely suggest using your fingers I've never tried to use a brush with one of these but I assume it would be very strange um, I just take it on my two fingers and like pat it in and then sometimes try and blend it out with the brush a little bit if it's too harsh but I like a strong highlight you know I'm not I'm not usually going for like a super natural highlight even though I've been doing natural makeup I just really like that pop of highlight I love it and this makes my skin look so dewy and like wet <sighs> I'm obsessed with it. I definitely want to get more of their Super Shock Cheeks because this is just like amazing and I need it in my life all the time. The only bad thing I will say is that I was wearing it literally two weeks ago, last time I wore makeup. I was wearing it and at the end of the night I was looking at my skin under like a flashlight, like my phone's flashlight. I was looking at my skin with that flash on and there was little like glitter sparkles like all over my face I mean all the way down here all the way on my forehead and I was like how did all of that get there my assumption is that somehow throughout my day my highlight made it like all over my entire face and you know if you were to take a picture like at night you know you've been wearing makeup for a little bit and take it with flash I'm worried that that might all show up and then your face will look all glittery but for right now in the daytime it looks fine I've never tried to take a picture with flash. I don't know how it would look, but I have my concerns now. But still recommend it, 100%. Do recommend. So the next product I'm so excited about because I received this free, 100% free, from Influencer in my Galentine's Day box. They sent this product to me completely complimentary. This is not like an ad. I'm just, if I talk about this, I need to say that it was sent to me free, which it was, for me to test and review for Influencer. And that is just like an amazing opportunity. And I'm so happy that I got the app. Like, by the way, if you guys are interested in me making a video on Influencer and like what all that stuff is, then give this video a big thumbs up. And I will make a video about Influencer and how I've received two box boxes so far. So the product that they sent me to try out is the Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Mascara. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with this <laughs> mascara. First of all, the packaging has little birds and it's just like the cutest thing in the world. And I really didn't think I was going to like this because for those of you that don't know, I do not like the Better Than Sex Mascara. I know, I think the whole like beauty community just started hating me. I literally do not like that mascara at all. I think it's horrible. But it has a wand that is shaped just like this. Like that little like peanut shape. I don't like it. But on this, on this it works for me. I love it. I feel like this is such a beautiful like not even natural mascara. It's definitely very lengthening. I mean it says extra volume but I feel like it makes my lashes look a lot longer. It's a very wet formula, I will say that. I definitely, you need to be careful, especially on the lower lashes, because I've made it look so smeary on the bottom lashes, because it just I went a little crazy, and it's a very wet formula, and it just gets everywhere. You use this on your top lashes, I feel like it just looks so good, and I've loved it so much, because it's not clumpy or anything. It's amazing, and I'm so thankful that they sent me this, because I've never would have bought this on my own and it's so cool that I got to try out a product that I never would have bought myself and I wound up loving it so much. So the last product I have to talk about today is my lipstick which is still sticky and I will get to that in a second. It is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist and I feel like this is a lot of people's favorite lipstick like a lot of people really love this lipstick and I just recently have started wearing like pink lipsticks and pink nail polish apparently apparently pink's taking over my life <laughs> i got this hoping that it was going to be like some amazing thing because everybody talked about it and they loved it and the first time i wore this i was like that's disgusting because it's so tacky on your lips and it stays tacky it never gets not tacky it doesn't ever dry down 
I don't know if that's like just mine or what because people people love this lipstick and I apparently also love it because I wore it so much this month or last month. I absolutely love the smell of this. It smells amazing and I love the applicator. It's different from anything else I have. It's like this little point and it's really cute and nothing else I have has this exact applicator and I feel like it's really easy to get all around your lips. Boys! Stop being annoying! But really, I just love the color so much. I feel like it looks so pretty. I feel like it basically goes with everything. I feel like it's a really great, like, pinky nude for me. I mean, it's not like my lips, but better, because it's definitely too pink for my lips. But I've just really been liking that pink look. Alright, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, you should check out some of these products, because they're, like, really good. And I hope I got to tell you guys everything. I hope I remembered to tell you guys everything I love about these products. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to make that influencer video, because I would absolutely love to. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because I put out new videos every Saturday, or at least I try to. Bye!